Hello, I'm Intrusive and welcome back to another Let's Play of Stellaris. So, uh, we recently finished our Let's Play. We're playing as uh, scientific, researchy focused owls who like winter planets. And now I think it's time for something a little bit different. So, we're going to be playing with uh, a load of mods installed. Uh, for instance, the AI Rebalance mod. Hello, AI Rebalance. And a load of others. You can find them in the description. And also, the Clark patch, of course, is now out. We'll be playing. As the Terran Imperium. Let's go have a look and look at uh, what they've got. So the Terran Imperium, uh, they are humans, but with the, uh, I don't know what, the, the mod is called something like Imperial Humans or Dictator Humans or Authoritarian Human Portraits or something like that. Um, human, humans, name list. We're using the uh, E name list, the Patreon names. Uh, we have traits. Repugnant, other species don't like us. Apparently, we look ugly to other species as humans. Uh, we're also quick learners. And we are adaptive, so, you know, we're good at turning our hands to things and getting used to situations. Um, ruler is Empress Aeon. Uh, we live on Terran worlds. In fact, we come from Continental Sol. That would be a thing you'd expect. Uh, we're also having a Mammalian city. I was tempted by Mammalian Red City, but it's... I, I'm not really sure I like the... the sort of the style of the Reptilian City enough. And it's very red. It's very red. So I'm, I'm going to go over the sort of the normal mammalian city there. Um, government ethics. We are going to be, and yes, this is going to be a fun run, xenophobic, militaristic, spiritualists. Oh yeah. We, we believe in the emperor and his golden throne. Uh, we also believe in military and force through might. Force through might obviously makes sense. But yeah, um... Walk softly and carry a big gun, and tell them about your Divine Emperor. And we also believe that other aliens are kind of icky. Because they are. You. Uh, so yeah, that's our plan as a Terran Imperium. What else have we got? We've got to be a, a military dictatorship. Uh, I wanted to go with military dictatorship. The one's attempting, but we also get a, like, over-large ship with this one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Each ruler can build an oversized ship. So yeah, that's that's the one that allows us to build like a crazy large ship that's got plus fifty percent tool stats. It's got plus fifty armor, uh, plus fifty percent weapon damage, plus fifty percent shields, and plus fifty percent HP. Uh, so I thought it might be worth playing around with that one. Governors for life, by the way, no elections. Uh, Terran Imperium, adjective Imperial, and our flag is of course uh, a double-headed eagle, which somewhat suits the channel. Uh, we're starting with lasers because they are red, and that suits us because ship appearance. Mammalian red ships. It doesn't look quite this bad in game. It looks very pixely here and like someone stuck some red dots to it. Uh, but yeah, basically mammalian ships recolored to have red lights because, you know, we're not evil. We just they have red. And we're going to use wormhole travel because wormhole travel is the best way to travel. If you're ever going on a holiday in space, wormhole travel all the way. So, let's go. Uh, yeah, I will be selecting you. We're going to go and do a large map. But we're going to drop ooh, two races. Oh, now we're going to drop four races. We'll drop four races and then we'll start seven advanced and highly aggressive. Yeah, so they're going to be very aggressive towards us. Now, this might actually result in a game that's going to be really tough. Like the point where we might actually lose because... We're going to have to play it xenophobic, militaristic, spiritualist. You know, we've got to conquer the galaxy. We don't suffer the alien to live. And if they do live, they act as our slaves until we kill them off. Humans all the way. We don't, we don't let people deviate from the genetic template the Divine Emperor forced on us. Uh, so, you know, this, this might result in everyone getting angry and then murdering us. But, yeah, it's worth a try. Uh, I don't want to have got because I don't fancy giving everyone just bonuses because you go on hard and it's like, yeah, they just get bonuses. It's not like the AI thinks any better. Uh, allowed FTM model, uh, method any. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to do elliptical and Iron Man mode. Sure. Uh, and I mean, if I do spiral forearms, the arms get too thin, but we did spiral two arms last time. So yeah, I'll do elliptical and Iron Man mode. No. Yeah, so we'll, we'll switch to that. In the aeons since the first primitive human communities took shape on the grassy savannas of Terra, our civilization has spread out and prospered. 
Countless nation-states formed as we advanced through the technological ages, warring against each other until only one remained. Although the fighting was often brutal, those who survived nurtured a martial tradition that has prevailed to this day. Now, after the successful creation of artificial subspace wormholes, the finest minds of the Terran Imperium have finished construction of the first wormhole station on the edge of the system. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so... Hello, Sol. How are you today? And we are... Ooh, a good position. Near the Traxxas Badlands. Well, that doesn't sound inviting, does it? Doesn't sound like you want to take the children there every time you go on holiday. I mean, why can't we be near the Whispering Garden? Or... Well, that's just pretty boring. Erin Nebula. Another nebula. Forbidden... Well, I just want to be next to that so that I can, you know, go in it and be like, Hey, it's not so much forbidden now. Dark... Dark Hope. Dark Hope's Nebula. Okay. The Expanse. Yeah, but we start near the Badlands. The one that only... The only one that actually sounds like legit, like it would be particularly bad. Uh, so we're going to start with... Oh, I do like research speed. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, research speed plus 5%. It's a very early opener. Uh, we're also going to go for colony ship. And Bathyrian power plants. If that shows up, you have to go for it. Bathyrian power plants are just so good. Of course, it requires you have Bathyrian. Which may or may not happen. Uh, Techno Shaman. You can be on the HMS Goose Pig. Please survey my system. Uh, right. Let us build another science ship. Wizard Hat class. Yeah, do it. And then on the planet itself, Terra. What have you got? Okay, so you've got a number of bits of food here and there. How much food are we up? Plus two. Yeah, you could probably do with buffing that a little bit. So let's build another hydroponic farm. Not much in the way of minerals here. A good amount of energy, but not enough minerals really, which is a shame. At least we won't be too starved for uh, energy. Um, I don't really want to clear that until I have to. It's expensive. Okay. Ooh, right, so this is another mod that I have. Uh, the fate of foreign stations, because basically in vanilla, if someone like is at war with you and places a merchant station in your territory, and then you stop being at war with them, the the wormhole station stays in your territory, which seems like a terrible thing to happen at the end of the war. You think you'd include that in the peace deal. So uh, this mod basically says, The Ministry of Defense has brought up the issue of foreign wormholes and military stations inside our borders. To suggest that we demand the dismantlization, dis oh, the dismantling, that would be a word, uh, the dismantling. However, only empires that are not currently at war with us will comply. Please note, this specific event will only fire once. Afterwards, you'll have another event at the end of each war. Um, so basically, let our allies and vassals keep their stations, but dismantle others. Yeah, so basically, only people we like can keep stations. Not that we're going to like many people or many people like us, but you get the idea. We might have like a temporary alliance just to come over like a bigger foe, but in general, I won't be making many alliances. Oh, look at that. The red scanning beam. Yes. Wait, we found nothing there. Oh, okay. That's how I like it. We're not evil, we just happen to like black and red a lot. Construction complete. Okay, so we've now got the Serial. And we're gonna hire... Ooh. Biology plus 10%, I might get you and put you on the colony ship one so we can get the colony ships earlier. That said, we've already got someone who just isn't really cut out for what they're doing, because you're just doing engineering, but you've not got an engineering specialty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit you, switch you over, and then put you on there, because at least you'll have a specialty that matches engineering. It doesn't match the current thing you're working on, but fine. Seriel, I would like you to service system start from there. Nothing in system so far. This is a really disappointing system. Come on, Sol. Right, there we go. We've got some minerals. Right. At this point, we send out the mineral station. There we go. Mmm, that's two minerals. Complete. Anomaly found. 
Okay, so we finished our service construction. Uh, ooh, 60% fail. Yeah, we're not... 60% fails? It's quite large. Haha, <laughs> we'll leave it be for now. We'll come back. Yeah, that... No. That's a big fail chance. Meanwhile, on the surface... I can't afford to build a power plant. Anything? No? Well, level two, but still no. Okay, there we go. We've got the uh, mining station. Another level up. I've got something on. There we go. I've got IO. Okay. How are you looking, Earth? You're very tilted. Very tilted. Isn't the Earth only tilted like 16 degrees or something? That looks like... 40? Uh, maybe, maybe 34? 34 degrees, maybe? It's a very specific number, I know. I just chose one randomly. Like, Australia shouldn't be, like, on effectively the equator. It's just very odd. Uh, right. Do I have... No, I do not. Go here. No, enter orbit. There we go. More energy. System survey complete. Okay, well, at least we've got energy. Uh, right, I'll get you going in different directions. You can go to Barnard Star. And if you could go to Alpha Centauri. Find me what's there. Meh. Hostile fleet detected. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alien log updated. Evading hostile fleet. Wait, that's my space station. Where is this enigmatic alien? <gasps> it's a space amoeba. We should murder the space amoeba. I should have got the mod that gets rid of the contact events for these. The Terran Empire is an opera following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. Their intention is unknown. It would be prudent to assume the worst. Yes, it would be. It would be. They are obviously uh, opposed to our Grand Emperor. Mm. Okay. Carry on. Ooh. Continental world over here. With 16 tiles. By the way, this is the expanded tool to the mod. So good. Uh, yeah, 16 tile, 80%. Continental. Yeah. I like it. I don't think I need to say any more than that. It's quite a good catch. System survey complete. Oh, you haven't been building anything. Whoopsie. Go build. And in the meantime, we will build a plant up here. Situation log updated. Why can't I not go to this? Oh wait, this is in Seoul? Oh yeah, over here. <gasps> Hello space whales. Space whales. Apparently they're a thing. Uh, right, who else do I want? I want to build a couple of corvettes soon. I know people are aggressive, but I also know that there's the... Uh, Oh, did we fully stand Barnard Star? We have. Uh, I also know that there's the event coming uh, with pirates, and I don't want to be on the bad side of that event. Alright, go do Procyon. Oh, not a bad sized one. Uh, Mineral Poor. Well, that sucks. Still, there were worse things in the world. Wait, where did the construction ship go? Wait. What? Are you still tr- I thought you'd be there by now. Oh, I guess. Come on. Wow, this is a good system. 
Seven minerals already? How many? There's a three, a two, and another two over here. Okay. That's not, that's not bad at all. I'll be more than happy to oblige. System survey complete. If I don't get the world, I'm going to be annoyed. Alright, so you've completed that system survey. So since I want to protect the world, I'm going to expand this way. Uh, oh, nothing really over here. Well, that's a shame. How are we doing? 67%. That building's building fast and the population's growing. Okay. Anomaly found. Oh. 12%. The signs of activity on an ancient precursor civilization is in hospital. Right. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Um, we could do those menaces at some point. Construction complete. Mm, we now need to do something with our energy. We've not got enough minerals to do anything with our energy. Not until next month. Now yeah, we can. At which point, yeah, we could do Jupiter. Could do Neptune. I'm going to do Jupiter. It's the closest to us. And that gets us positive energy credits again. Sweet. Right. Are you, are you doing your survey, aren't you? Investigating. We've got a ocean world over here. A 20 tile ocean world. Hmm. Quite hard to say. I'll have to think about that one. Alright, so we're looking for... Ooh. The Cybrex. Uh, ancient civilization on Procyon. Incredibly, the civilization which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrex seemed made up of machines that linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The AG artifact indicates they were active some 600,000 years ago in the portion of the galaxy at least, but we've learned nothing of the exact origins. According to partial data fragments, our scientists managed to extract from one of the archives uh, the subject at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sentient organic life in the galaxy for unknown reasons. Yeah, I will be going through most of the events rather quickly because Situation I assume everyone's seen updated. them. I mean, I know I have. But, uh, yeah, they do get a little bit repetitive over time. There's only so many in the game. Yeah, nothing particularly riveting there. Ooh, hello? No? I thought... No. Okay. I thought someone was coming out of the system. Anomaly found. 20% chance? Yeah, life signs come from within the asteroid. Seems fair to me. You're still growing. Uh, I'm going to flip you up for that pop. I don't even need this over here. Not when I had that pop sitting around. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Ooh, we need green, don't we, for genetics. So I'm going to add a basic science lab over here. Just to buff our research a little bit. Oh, you're the growing pop. That's why I was like, why is my research increased? Oh, yeah, you're still growing. We'll get there eventually. Really. Hostile fleet. Science ship oh, under God. Attack. Several dom... Several dom military drones designed by some long-lost civilizations sit clustered around a small crater on the far side of the asteroid. As the serial comes within range of the passive sensors, the drones power up in an effort to fulfill their ancient program directive. Defend the system from... E oh, God. You are not in the right place there. Ah, run away. At least they don't pack much punch. Five, four, three, two, one. System survey complete. Door. Oh. That, was, that was worrying. Right, Seriel, uh, you want to go heal. Well, that's one way of getting an introduction to aliens who want to murder you. I think we'll go over there and kick some ass when we've built a few more Corvettes. But that will be next episode. I'm just trying to find a quick, like, a G-Class. There's a G-Class star there. Right, there. Go survey that. 
Uh, if you have enjoyed, please remember like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. If you're looking forward to um, some purging, some slavery, some pillaging, and, you know, general being a space imperium, then, you know, comment down below and let me know how you think it will be. Uh, do, do do the commenting and the liking, by the way, with any new series. Uh, it's really interesting to see what people think about it and be able to get some general feedback. So, you know, that's really cool. If you could, that'd be really great. But yeah, until next time, Space Imperium will continue and stay shiny.